So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see that we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 26,172. Above that, you can change the information displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. You see a digital readout for the speedometer at the moment. But as I say, there's various different bits of trip computer information that you can have there instead, should you wish to. Backing out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. Over on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or your pocket. That is, of course, once you paired it up, and that is done over in the centre just here. Hit the phone button and then follow the instructions on screen by using the numbers just here. So we're going to press one to cancel at this point in time. When it comes to the radio in this car, we have FM, as you can see, DAB and AM as well. So listen to your own music, hit that media button. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can listen to it via a USB input, auxiliary input. And once you paired your phone, you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So fan speed is adjustable here. Direction of the air just here and the temperature, of course. Hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. Same again to turn it off, should you wish to. You can bring in fresh air from outside of the car or recirculate the air that's in the car. That is a good way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set on this dial. And again, uh, you can turn those to whichever one you want as easily as that. Underneath that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs a six speed manual gearbox. And then these two buttons just here. Firstly, this one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Hit that button, that'll turn that system off. And then this button, if we look up here, we'll turn the uh, downhill brake control on or off. You see the green symbol that's come up to the right hand side is to let you know it's turned on and it's now off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.